Are you the kind of person who has a 3D filament printer at home and loves the idea of painting miniatures but doesn't have the extra liquid cash to go out and buy the miniatures, build them, and then paint them? Well, don't feel bad because some people are in your boat too, just like me. And what I found is a really great way to paint minis as well as print them at a very, very, very low cost. Today, we're going to be going over that and I'm going to cover the print settings that you need a demonstration of what it's going to look like with a little bit of paint on it so you can get, really get the fine details. And then finally, we're going to have a little nice little time lapse. So welcome to Prince of Geeks. That's P-R-I-N-T-S of Geeks. Stick around. So before I show you what the printed quality of a printed miniature on a filament printer looks like, I'm going to go over the settings of the miniature. So first off, let's talk about the speed. Your speed is going to be, is going to be between 25 millimeters a second and 60 millimeters a second. Secondly, let's talk about the layer height because this is very important, especially for a filament printer where you're gonna have a bigger layer height than you would for say a resin printer. So with the filament height that you're gonna want, or the layer, with the layer height you're gonna want, what you wanna do is you wanna put it to 0 0.1 millimeter layer height. After you have layer height, we gotta talk about infill. With infill, you're gonna wanna do a 20% infill. Second to last, but probably more important too, is you're gonna to talk about retraction speed. Now, my settings with my Creality Ender 3 V3 SE, try saying that 10 times fast, my retraction distance is five millimeters and my retraction speed is 40 millimeters. And I think those, the results are fantastic. And then last, just because of the size you're gonna deal with and the tiny, that, like my new details, I've gone ahead and given it a 0.8 millimeter wall, which on a stock 0.4 millimeter nozzle, is just two walls. These are the settings, but I'm sure you're dying to know what does it actually look like? Well, take a look at this. Now I've gone ahead and given this guy a nice little coat of paint, just so you can see more of the level of detail because white unfortunately does not show up very well in video and even on the naked eye, but apart from a bit of stringing, which is more to do with my printer than anything else, but that's a bit of cleaning up that you can be done pretty quickly. As you can see, you get quite a bit of detail on this guy. And frankly, it looks quite nice. You also, on this one, you'll notice, where are the layer lines? I've got this thing painted. Those layer lines should be filled in, and except for maybe one or two lines that I'm seeing, you are not seeing the difference in the, in the layers whatsoever. Now, I am going to paint it, and I'm gonna show you how fantastic it can really look once it's all painted, once this whole thing dries. So take a look at this. We're gonna do a quick time-lapse video of the painting. Stick around for this. Hey, Zach here. So here's a really cool thing, by the way, in doing all of this and figuring out how all of this actually works, I think it's really interesting to see that the print settings for a standard FDM nozzle printer, which was really just with a stock of 0 .0 or 0.4 millimeter nozzle, I think it's really cool to see how the whole thing came together and how the whole thing turned out. And the really, really wicked part is the fact that it was easy to paint. Now, granted, I don't use like three colors, but I think it's still absolutely amazing and it's something that basically anybody can do with the filament printer and i was really skeptical at first i was really scared about how it would turn out especially seeing how it looks but i'm actually very pleased with the results and i think it is so cool to see that just a little bit of settings a little bit of patience because it took me like three tries to get this thing painted and printed the way that it was supposed to do specifically printed more than painted and I'm just totally rambling here to fill out the rest of the time for this video while the time lapse is going. But I'm hoping you're having a great time watching. And I'm hoping you're enjoying the, the mediocre painting skills. But uh, frankly, this thing has been an absolute pleasure to film, an absolute pleasure to print, and I'm so happy. Now, the paint hasn't fully dried, but as you can see, this actually turned out quite decently. And you see quite a good level of detail on it. Obviously, I'm not going to pretend to be the best painter in the world. And frankly, the fact that I'm using a paintbrush... That's half the size of this dude's head, and this is right next to each other for a comparison. Really shows the level of detail you can get even with a crappy paint brush. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, which should be everybody because this is a brand new channel, go ahead and hit that follow button or that subscribe button. It goes a long way. I'm never going to beg for anything, but uh, I would appreciate it all the same. And welcome to the Prince of Geeks.